so coming to the evolution evolution of the baraita so it starts with a strong syphilitic trait from the parents at birth the child might suffer from a cleft palate or a valvular defect of heart or defects of the brain okay so that strong syphilitic trait you remember growth delay and confusion of the brain leads to alteration in the time clock causing a patchy development i wish i could explain this to you but due to lack of time i'll just go ahead maybe next class i'll explain it to you what the time clock means okay so this i mentioned single effects it is not necessary that all milestones are delayed single milestones will be delayed or it may appear on time but with quality defects the child might start speaking on time but instead of saying ma pa he goes for slurring okay he goes for uh, non syllables or even just noises so there's a qualitative defect in that particular milestone it might have arrived on time but the quality is hampered that can also be a baraita okay so open fontanelles delayed dentition late head holding delayed walking talking etc these are the milestones so shyness is very very important you know that if a person is not developed well or if he feels that he is not developed well he will definitely have insecurity he will have low self esteem and shyness okay and that is why the child fails to mingle with society you take an example of around 5 to 10 children who are talking who are conversing very easily and there's a baraita in between the child is not able to understand what is happening the child is not able to understand what these children are talking or what they're doing so he'll definitely feel like he's left out so that's why he is often seen not to mingle with society okay he is seen quite often sitting in the corner non cooperative sluggish and dullness okay instead of obstinacy he's not obstinate he's just dull so in school going children and adult the same thing the dullness is seen at the qualitative level he is not able to perform well in his school he is not able to answer properly when the teacher asks him questions and he finds all the work uninteresting okay so poor memory even if he tries to read he forgets shyness doesn't allow him to mingle doesn't allow him a free expression develops into cowardice okay this poor memory for example uh, the child has read something now and he goes out to play for half an hour he comes back he doesn't remember what that is when the mother asks him questions he doesn't remember that is the amount of poor memory which the baraita patient has okay so obviously if you are not able to do well you have an anxiety anticipatory of one's own capability okay one's own capability so as the child grows up as he becomes a, a young adult or a proper adult confusion at at work leads to poor problem solving poor decisions they fickle minded they cannot take decisions they cannot solve problems and inappropriate responses okay so he doesn't respond in the proper way he gives stupid answers confusion at the level of the most susceptible area which is lymphatics and reticulo endothelial system leads to disturbance in the immune responses thus an aberration aberration is alteration of immune systems are seen so how the mind is not developed properly even the body is not developed properly that is there is poor immune system this pure immune uh, sorry poor immunity okay so therefore more infections especially in the throat so try to understand poor immunity especially throat area infected more often okay so remember that so at the nervous system there is disturbance at the mental level spasms at the muscular level leading to migraine epilepsy cerebral diplegia agenesis microcephaly and mongolism this is not very important okay so i told you it is psychosyphilitic right psychotic tendency has atheroma formation and arteriosclerosis okay and at the kidney ureter and bladder kub is kidney ureter and bladder it shows renal calculi okay deposition remember that 
Okay. So coming to the final stages in the old age, we see that old people, especially who suffer from a stroke, we can think of Barita Muir. Okay, especially when the BP is high, the systole is high now, that time we can think of Barita Muir. So there is early graying of hair, aging is frequent, hypertension develops due to arteriosclerosis, then there's thrombus formation, embolus, stroke, paralysis. Okay, so this is a chain of events which happens. Okay, all you have to do is just understand, then it'll all be clear. Okay. 